Hey guys, Casey here. We're here to see 8179 Sockeye Loop, which is this unit right here. Here's your neighborhood. That is Lake Otis Parkway. Okay, let's go inside. Looks like a one car garage on this one as well. Unless it's a double deep, but I doubt it. Okay, we walk in. Immediately we've got stairs on our left and a hallway on our right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the hallway. So this is brand new construction. It does look like eight foot ceilings, standard height. Immediately on our right, we have our garage which just like the last one on Elkador looks like an oversized one car garage. Got our utility room here on the end. Furnace, on demand hot water system. Everything looks good. Obviously it's brand new. Right above we have our garage unit heater. Okay. Oh, it looks like it is plumbed here in the corner to potentially have a sink. Okay, going back inside. Looking back down the hallway on the left, we've got under stair storage. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me see if I can find a light switch. There we go. We've got under stair storage, and we've got our hatch to get into the crawl space. So that's there. So we continue down the hall, we have bifold doors on our left, and this is where the laundry is meant to go. Being that it's new construction, it does not come with laundry and probably does not come with a refrigerator, so we'll need to purchase those separately. The hallway curves around to the right. Immediately to our right here, we do have a bifold door, and we have a linen closet. At the end of the hall, we have a full bath. Is brand new construction, so we got a laminate countertop on this vanity. And looks like they did kind of a reddish brown stain on this, and I can't tell what kind of wood that is. We do have a laminate floor and a brand new tub and surround. Obviously, everything's brand new in here. Okay, let's turn back. We've got two bedrooms down here. First one here, this is another small bedroom. This one also is probably about nine by 11. This is looking out into the backyard. There's not really a backyard. We've got our closet in here. And let's go back and look at the other bedroom downstairs. Hit the light here. Okay, this is our other downstairs bedroom. About the same size as the other one, real small. Actually, I think these are probably eight by 10, which is the smallest legal bedroom possible. Once again, we're looking outside, right into someone else's backyard. Closet here, decent sized closets, no complaints there. Okay, looking back down the hall, let's head upstairs. Okay, nice lighting. As we head up, we head up the stairs. There's a couple of doorways, which we'll check out. Ooh, that's some nice flooring. Looks like this is our kitchen and living area. This is probably our dining nook. It is open concept. They did do a good job with the kitchen. Uh, this was the spot that the refrigerator would normally go. They did do the tall cabinets, the tall uppers. And we have vaulted ceilings with recessed lighting. This is our living room. It's very small. And we're looking outside. 
down here. Let's go down this little hallway and see what other things we have. Okay, we've got a half bath up here. And this ought to be our master bedroom at the end, right over the garage. Yes, it is. It's pretty large, uh, probably 14 by 14. It has its own walk-in. Oh, we've got a walk-in closet here on the right. With some organizers pre-built in, places to hang stuff. As we walk in here, we've got Jack and Jill vanity. Our toilet's on that side. We do not have a tub up here, we just have an extra large shower. Looks like they did some interesting tile work in there all the way up. Actually looks decent. Okay. Back out. And out of the master, we get a view of the front yard. Looks like that's where their next building is going to be put. That's it. Okay, guys, thank you.